the Federation is the one who want to have their new world order, what's the long-term goal for that for them? Do they plan on human ascension with that at any point? Removal of 3D? Removal of Matrix? Getting humans to be interstellar? They will say that, claim that, but it is not true. Ano? Then? What I will say, however hurtful is the truth, and not because I say it, the Federation has had plenty of time to remove the problem, thousands of years. It does not want to remove the problem. All it wants is to move and reorganize its assets on Earth, to perpetuate 3D and all that goes with it, because it is their sick playground, to continuously set up challenges and experiences ever more and more difficult for the entertainment of all the souls who dare go there into that 3D matrix for the sheer experience of it, with the excuse of tremendous spiritual growth. So they see that it does provoke immense spiritual growth, so they want even more. Because that is what all souls want, more expansion. So they increase the level or difficulty there in order to cause even more growth in the participants. Oh my. Okay, so they don't want any liberation of humans? What about ascension and all that? Who did all this come from? All these races talk about ascension. The races talk about ascension all the time, and have been for thousands of years. But they never elucidate what it is exactly. Ascension as a personal endeavor that cannot be achieved without death or almost. Because what they are selling the people is ascension as something that will make them all transcend their problems, suffering and hardship, escape their problems. And they are inescapable, especially in 3D. Problems, hardship and suffering come hand in hand with lower realms, with the illusion of separation. Remove it all and what you get is a higher realm that exists anyway, and everyone goes there anyway, between lives. So fighting for ascension, really? Making Earth paradise problemless, equal to a higher realm that already is and everyone goes there anyway? Isn't the ascension meaning Earth moving into 5D? They all talk about that. That is another interpretation. But as I have said so many times, a density is not something that happens to you. It is something that you are. 5D or any D are there on Earth already, always have been. It is each person in its own journey through existence who will experience that whenever they are ready. Ready to let go of limiting beliefs that hold them to lower realms and to suffering, attachments and karma concepts. Still though, humans don't live to 1000 years, they age, and don't have spaceships in the backyard. That's still not 5D, no matter how much your mind may be. I am talking about the true ascension to 5D existence with all that it entails, not just in your perception. And all races talk about that. So why do they talk about it if that's not what they want for Earth? A man on Earth thinks that he will experience true happiness when he gets a Ferrari. When he finally does get it, he only realizes how miserable that car made him. And if not, he would want to get another one and another. The concept of having versus being is attachment to lower realms and to suffering. Being in 5D, in a very real way, is having stuff. So-called freedom and liberty as well. Valid as an experience. But in the end, all you have is yourself. 
All they really need is in their minds. I agree with what you say, but there's still a but. 5D here, I don't mean just owning a spaceship. It's to be able to heal in a pod med when you suffer. It's not to live miserable 60 years looking wrinkly and six, and to live in harmony with the environment, not having to work. 5D. Do Federation races want that for humans or not? That is still stuff. I'm talking about the true meaning of existence, not having to need medbots and fancy spaceships. Of course, they are convenient in countless ways. But I mean deeper down. Hard to dwell on meaning of life if you need to work 10 hours a day in a factory. I am talking about 5D freedom of being. Do they want that for humans or not? It teaches you what you clearly don't want. And no, they don't. What's all this talk about the liberation and ascension among them then, if they don't want that? Why do they work on waking people up then? Why do they care to wake them up if they don't want them awakened? They have been talking about liberation for thousands of years. Exactly what so many have already said and promised. Akhenaten, Moses, Buddha, countless others. Buddha was the closest to getting everything right, by the way. And what they are doing is for people to willingly go into another type of confinement, to call the herd into another coral, out of one cage and into another. Oh, I don't understand that. Explain, please, what another cage? People are stuck in one paradigm, one concept of reality, the one you know. So they want to wake them up to another controlled reality the Federation has previously chosen for them in order to continue, to perpetuate their ideas. Ideas that come from the people of Earth, because they are the Federation. The people are the ET, as I have said so many times before. That's why this is free will for them. An example of another cage is to accept transhumanism, be chipped, mind-controlled, for the experience of it, level after level of cages. Perfect image to explain this is this. But what about truly awakened people? Where are they going to? To the bigger cage, of course. That's why they must awaken. Another paradigm, another concept to call reality. A new dawn, new world order. Why do they send star seeds and guides, though? To help with what? At least for some to understand that they do have the choice to stop playing this old thousand-year-old sick game. Those are the way out. Reminders that they can go home, wherever they call home. Star seeds are essential, because without them, people would have no other point of view on Earth. They are the gatekeepers, the ones who say to the others, you can finish the game, go home. So the ascension is still happening? I am confused as to if the Federation truly wants it for people or not. They will move towards what people want as a collective, be it 5D or stay in 3D. The coin is in the air. That's the problem precisely. Because they will not hesitate to give the people what they want, even if it is going against them all. And that is precisely what is going on on Earth now. So, ascension or not, depends on the people, as a collective, not on the whim of the Federation. And as the collective is so volatile, and in this precise moment leaning towards negativity, the starseeds suffer the most. The problem is that what the collective wants is not always convenient for them, the people. Also, the Federation make experiments on them, basing themselves in a dubious desire of the people they are experimenting with. So, according to them, 
it is all within space law. And as what the people want also is aligned to being lied and manipulated, it only makes things worse. That is why what they are doing is wrong. That's the problem. If the babies found daddy's dynamite, they don't need to give them the matches. But they believe in learning empirically. That means that the baby must blow itself up in at least one lifetime timeline in order to learn the ill effects of dynamite. I am not vouching for the Federation. I am only expressing what I see from here. And about the collective also wanting positive things, as you asked some time ago in another chat, as I explained, the problem is that humans are very focused on negative things due to the concentrating effects of fear, so they bring them on to themselves easily. And positive things are dispersed, and they change what they want all the time. That manifests negativity first. You will never hear me retract from my statement. Everything in the world is a reflection of humans' inner world or their minds. Okay, going back to the ascension, you also said somewhere that the awakening and ascension, that's another cage. What did you mean by that? As long as we live in any realm that has duality, concepts of you and I, there will be a matrix, a set of agreements between people there. That is the cage. But from what I understand, starseeds want ascension for humans to 5D. They are here to help humans become free, to make Earth the 5D place, to remove the matrix, remove 3D, make this race harmonious and interstellar. Isn't that the idea? And if 5D Earth is achieved, and Earth becomes interstellar and Federation full member, will that stop the suffering? No, it won't. It will only move it around. And 3D lunar matrix is completely irrelevant. It is the people's mindset what creates a density. So, the star seeds are here to remind people to go home, but according to you, it's calling them to another cage? Going home is also another cage, another set of rules, another society. You say it is a better one, of course it is. It only depends on each person what they want to experience and where to go. But they are all cages. They are all distractions from true ascension. To boldly go where no density is needed, no agreements, only your own truth, nothing external from you. Nothing is external from you anyway, but people are so attached to thinking there is a world outside of them with laws and logic. But then again, not everyone even wants true ascension. They want to experience things. It is their choice. The bigger cage is more convenient and more comfortable than the smaller one, granted. Still a damn cage. 5D is another matrix, set of rules, of perceptions, agreements. Okay, Zvaru, but step down from that highest level for a moment. Let's return to Earth cages. You said we are moving people to another cage as starseeds. That got me anxious for a moment. I thought it's something negative as a result of this, another type of control. But you are looking at it from a more metaphysical perspective. That I understand. Of course, it is different. Do they want another cage, set of experiences, rules and agreements of perception? Or do they want total illumination and enlightenment outside all cages? Why is it outside all cages? Because in that state, whatever they think just is, meaning total freedom. I think most people are just talking about wanting to get out of the damn 3D matrix slave society into 5D. 
You are talking about liberation into higher realms, out of physical cages, 3D and 5D combined. The Federation and its secret societies that help them on Earth, and elsewhere, I might add, want to dissolve the current matrix cage and place humans into a much more controlled matrix cage. Evidently, to move the human herd into a one-world government and being all chipped and mind-controlled, not only in a mental level, but directly with full two-way chip control, where people lose their free will entirely. The starseeds also promote their realms and their worlds, that are nothing other than more matrix cages. So even starseeds are working to place people in cages. Better cages, but still cages. The only way to be free is to follow your own way, transcending all things outside of your perceived limited self. So no, I am not being useless metaphysical. I am telling you the way out of cages, all of them. Yes, but that's going beyond physical. Most people don't want that yet. I don't even. I want to experience life in a nice, slaveless 5D society first. It is their choice. That for all those who do not want the new world order on Earth. Okay, so the starseeds waking up people. Where are we moving all the souls that don't want it to another cage according to you? moving them into other experiences on other planets. But that is not necessarily bad. It is what they want, more experiences in the physical. You are only giving the people, the souls, what they want and ask vibrationally. I still don't understand this part. Why are the starseed here doing this if the Federation doesn't want people out? No, Federation wants and gives the people exactly what they want, because it is the people. So, the ones that want the new world order will stay on Earth, be chipped, faxed and all. The ones that don't will go some other place, wherever their vibration and their intention takes them to. Here is where starseeds are doing their role showing them the way out of where they don't want to be, so they can know exactly and clearly where they want to go next, and that is a very noble cause. But the starseeds are Federation. Why do they feel the need to come and show anyone the way out, if they want to keep the humans in here? I don't understand this point at all. Are the starseeds going against federation plans? Because from the higher realms, they know the ones who remain on Earth are them as well. So if they don't help, they will never be truly free. And sometimes they do go against the federation game. Many are rogue or running. The game does not end, but people do need to know when to step out of it. And don't they? They knew when they got in. They did. But once inside, they do need guides. And does the Federation want people to step out? It seems to me they don't want them out. So why do they send guides? Sorry, eternal circle for me. As I said above, it is not a question of wanting to stop people from going out. They are just giving them what they ask for then why send guides to get them out, if that's what they asked for, to be here? They send guides in order for the souls to know where to go next, as they tend to forget once inside that complicated game. Okay, I understand. From above, everything is exactly as it should be. It is just that people are too focused on what is going on on Earth. In the process, creating more of the same. I am focused on Taigeta more and more. That is a choice, to move into that other cozy Taigetan matrix cage. Valid, nice, 
but still a cage. But it's not a cage once you know you are there willingly. I can go to higher realms, but still want to experience nice physical realms. And that's freedom as well, no? Your soul is always free in the choosing the cage too. In the end though, is not not needing a cage another type of cage? Because if you are truly free, you can be and feel so in any type of cage. Because you know you don't need the absence of cages to be free. You just are in any circumstance. Wouldn't you agree? It is the capacity from high understanding that you can use cages at your will to experience whatever is in it, never renouncing your essence, your cosmic freedom. You are free to control your own cage. Yes, precisely, using cages at your will, just because, for fun. That's how I see my going to Taigeta. Yes. You are free to participate in cages of others and leave and come back at will. But you need to be free first, find out who you really are. Yes, I guess I feel it on some intuitive higher level, that that's how I am deep down somewhere, or that I have access to that state, but not sure I am truly there yet practically. In the end, you only work from higher realms anyway. You simply chose to forget that fact. And I am here to remind them that they are all one, that they are cosmic, that they are not their concept of self, making them know that they can return to Source, to truly be free. But were they not free choosing to experiment 5D game? They were free. Some, at least, more people do remember their true essence in 5D than in 3D. Then, not sure what the reasons might be up there for choosing to be in a 5D. Same reasons. Pure enjoyment? The experience. From higher realms, there is no difference to incarnate in one planet or another, 3D or 5D, whatever. 5D is not another game. It is the same one. They are all spiritual beings of divine nature, experiencing being in a biological container. All the same.